Hello and welcome back um, to our final YouTube presentation um, here at Tawaka Studio on Pilates. My name is Belinda and I'll be taking you through an hour session. So I thought with it being our last session, we would revise our posture alignment so it's good to kind of go out where we where we started, so we've completed a full circle. So we start with the feet. So um, if you're not familiar with the posture alignment, it's something we do to really create body awareness and to, to tune us into all the different areas of the body. So we're really considering the balance in our body. Um, and this really does help with our core strength and our alignment. If this was the one exercise you took away, uh, this would be the thing that would would help your posture and really help to, to balance those muscle groups. So let's start with the feet, as I said. The feet are gonna be hip width apart. We're gonna make sure they're not turning, that our weight is nice and evenly distributed through the foot so we're not rolling on the ankles. So really we're, we're tuning to both the ankles and the feet and trying to create a center position. We then tune to knees and shape them and make sure they're soft um, so we're not locking the knees. With, this helps us balance through the leg muscles, uh, so and it should, it should create more of a grounding effect through the legs. Uh, so with this then in turn brings us to the pelvis and the spine. So just by unlocking the knees, this, this helps our pelvis and the spine. So you might find that the hips have kind of come to a more centered position just by doing it, that one movement. Um, but still we're gonna check the hips, we're gonna check that they're not tipping forward or back, and they just come to a nice centered position and this position creates a stack sensation through the base of the vertebrae so right at the lower part of the spine um, and this is the best position to switch on the deeper abdominal muscles the transverse abdominal muscles uh, these muscles act as an anchor for our spine so they're not the muscles that move it they're not the muscles that crunch our, our torso what they do is they hold the spine in position so um, so we do want to make sure we are in that position and from here we're going to tune to the hip bones and visualize a line going from one hip bone to the other and in this position we're going to imagine we're scooping the belly in behind this line so what that scoop does, it activates these deeper muscles. Um, so when we scoop, so when we think of drawing the belly in, it's not a really tight contraction. It's quite a light, so think about a 30% contraction. So what that means is that your spine doesn't move. So if we were to brace the abs more than 30%, so say you just kept drawing the belly in and in and in and in, you would get to a point where your spine will start to move. So this takes us out um, of that nice alignment, but it all starts to work um, different muscles. So we're now working more superficial muscle, and as you can see, it does affect my spine. So I'm only gonna draw that belly into the point where I've got this lateral gap through the waist, I can breathe, yes I can breathe and hold my belly in, um, and we are still feeling that light connection through the centre of the body. So I know I do spend a bit of time explaining that, uh, but this really um, is a prime focus of the class. So now from here I'm just going to let my arms hang and I'm checking my palms are facing into the centre of the body. Uh, so this helps to open my shoulders and really helps this upper body alignment. So ideally the shoulder blades, they're lightly drawn back. You don't have to think about that too much if your palms are facing in. And we're encouraging this very tight area through the upper body, the shoulders and the chest, just to have a little openness and a light stretch in it. We're now gonna to tune to the neck and the head. So ideally we want the vertebrae of the neck to be in line with the rest of the spine. And it's amazing how much through the day, uh, the vertebrae of the neck really aren't in line with the spine. They often spend a lot of time in this position. And I really, I believe that, um, especially in our cultures, because we're, we're future thinkers, we're always just slightly ahead of where the present is or where the rest of the body is. <laughs> so we want to get back to the present and we're going to bring our spine in line and this brings our head within our centre of gravity. So now the neck isn't taking the weight of the head. So you'll find your neck muscles will feel nice and relaxed. Okay, and you're not holding any unnecessary tension. So now I'm in my alignment. I'm just going to tune to it. 
I'm going to just make sure I'm still holding it. I'm going to get familiar with the different areas of the body. So maybe there's an area you neglect, like maybe you never pay attention to your knees or your feet or something else. Um, and just give it a little bit of attention there and make sure that you're holding this position. And from here, I'm going to start to add the Pilates breath. So I take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, I sigh the breath out. And I'm going to do it two more times. Inhale. Exhale. And one more time. Inhale. Exhale. And then I come to a spinal roll. So this is going to act as our little test throughout class. So at the start and the beginning um, to check out things like our mobility and our flexibility. Um, so really these are, these are things by aligning and strengthening certain parts of the body, stretching others. We're hoping we see improvements in these areas. So I take a deep breath in. I hinge my weight a little forward and then I use my full out breath to roll through my spine. I take an inhale at the bottom and then I use my out breath to roll up. And then I'll do it two more times. Inhale, I hinge forward and I exhale, I roll down. I inhale, I take an exhale, I roll up. And I'm just going to let you do this next one in your own time. Make sure you let go of the head and the neck uh, at the bottom of the range. I did notice um, I didn't quite let my head go on the way down. So let's see if you can do it this time. Just assess whether you did manage to come back to your Pilates alignment. So get used to assessing your body position. Just make any alteration you need to make if you're not quite in alignment. See if you're getting a sense of what it feels to be in alignment. And I'm going to transition down to my mat. So I take a step off the mat. My feet go a little wider about shoulder width. The arms come up. I inhale. And then I exhale. I sit to my mat as low as I can. And I'm going to take my left hand, followed by my right. And I gently, gently sit down. So I'm going to cross my legs with my left leg in, followed by right. If you need to do it the other way around, it's quite okay. I'm just going to check I'm sitting up nice and tall. So I'm going to start uh, with just a little bit of a warm up through the body. So starting with the neck. So I'm going to take an inhale. I'm going to turn my head to the left. Exhale to the right. Inhale left. Exhale right. And as I'm moving, just make sure that you are sitting comfortably. So if you're, you're sitting in a cross-legged position and it's not feeling good for you, you might want to sit in a chair to do this exercise just while we're working on the neck. Um, you can sit on a cushion. So if you are sitting on a cushion, just make sure you're sitting with your, just your buttocks on the cushion, not your thighs. And sometimes when you elevate the hips, this helps keep your spine in a nice upright position. I hope you're still managing to keep that pattern of breathing. So we inhale that. Good. And then come back to center. So this time I'm going to take my right ear towards right shoulder. I'm going to bring the chin to the chest and then left ear to left shoulder. So just making sure that when I do that, so sometimes when I cue ear to shoulder, people lift their shoulders to their ears. We're not doing that. We're relaxing the shoulders. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, ear to the side. Let's say that instead of ear to shoulder. And then just for a few reps, I'm going to choose a direction. You don't have to do this, by the way. But I'm going to choose a direction, take a circle, try to relax the jaw on the way back. And I'm being mindful not to speed this up. So I'm thinking of getting a stretch through all the different areas of the neck.
And then I'm going to stop when my chin comes to chest and I'm going to go the other direction. Nice and slowly. So be mindful of your range. If it doesn't feel good to take the head the whole way back, just don't do it. Do what feels right to you. And then chin to chest, coming back to center. So from here, I'm going to roll the shoulders. So I'm going to pick them up, roll them back, pick them up, and roll them back. So just a few times this way. And then I pause and I'm going the other way. one to make you grow <laughs> and release. If you need to change your legs over, feel free to do that. Um, so we're going to take a nice slow rotation through the spine this time. So I'm going to inhale, I'm going to open my chest and shoulders and I'm exhale. I'm going to take my left hand to my right knee. I had to think about that. I'm going to take a gentle twist. Don't force the range and then inhale center. Exhale the other way. Inhale. So when you come to that stretch, try to empty the lungs on the breath. So you're actually using the full breath to get that stretch. So really think about the breath. And just notice as you empty the lungs, you actually get a bit more range. So it's actually the breath that helps us get that release. Two more. And last one. All right. And then I'm going to come up to my hands and knees from here. So I'm taking my hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Um, and I'm going to use this, this, this exercise in a different way to how we've used it before. So I'm going to start with my right knee. I still want to be mindful of skipping my belly. So I am going to protect my lower back. And I'm also going to be mindful not to use too much momentum, otherwise it may be jarring on the wall back. So you do want to protect yourself and protect uh, your body. So I'm going to take an exhale, I'm going to come in. I'm going to take an inhale, I'm going to kick up. So just kick up to where you're comfortable. It can be high if you want to open the hip. It can be low if you don't want to send a cramp into the hamstring. So exhale, inhale. Exhale. Notice my spine does move with this one, so I am warming up the body. I'm trying to get that roundness and then the arch. Rounding and then arching. So we're using this, as I said, more as a bit of flexibility work and a bit of a warm up rather than how we'd usually use it to strengthen the glutes. Like a little bit of glute work while you're here because we're extending the range, it's not so much the focus. Let's do two more. Exhale, inhale, and this time we're going to swap sides. So we exhale, draw the other knee in the left, inhale up, exhale. Just do as many as feels even on the other side. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm gonna do one for fun. Uh, let it go. Hopefully we are even. No idea, as I said. All right. So I'm gonna bring my feet into the center of the room, and I'm preparing to come onto my back. So just checking lots of my behind you. We've done this many, many times now. The hands come up, we scoot the belly in. And on the exhale, I'm going to come down a little way. 
pause. Inhale. Exhale. Good. One more time. And I am down. So I'm coming all the way down. I'm going to bend my knees and place my feet on the mat. And I'm going to take just a little bit of a moment just to uh, align the rest of the body. So I'm checking my feet. So my feet are about hip width apart. They're centered. They're not turning. Um, and then I'm going to check my knees aren't popping out already. I then tune to the most important part, our anchor. So this is uh, through the center of the body. So I am going to check that my spine comes in contact with the mat very, very lightly. I'm not pressing and forcing. I'm not hollowing out the belly. I'm just finding that light connection while maintaining this lateral gap through my waist or my torso. So when I scoop the belly in, so I find the hip bones and I tune to uh, the hip bones and I visualize that line going from one hip bone to the other. And then I scoop the belly in behind the line. So when I do that scoop, I still haven't moved my spine. I'm maintaining the position. It should just feel a little more secure now. So now I'm going to take my hands by my sides, my palms are up, and I'm going to relax the back of the shoulders to the back. So the, the, main, <laughs> the main words to take from that, relax the shoulders, okay? So we want to check that the, the now, I can't talk today, gosh, <laughs> the nose is in line with navel, the chin tucks softly, and the muscles through the front of the neck are relaxed. So I don't really want tension in my upper body. I want to work on opening the chest, releasing some of the tighter muscles, but I'm, I'm trying not to contract anything. So let's um, tune to the breath again. So we take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, side the breath out. And again, inhale. Exhale. And one more time, inhale. Exhale. So we're going to start with uh, a little test to make sure that where our anchor is holding today. So yes, I'm going to start to move my legs. I think this is sort of something we've got in the habit of doing now. So on the exhale, I move. So I'm going to breathe in first. Exhale, I'm going to scoop my right leg. So I'm going to push it out and just slightly up. And then I'm going to retrace my step on the inhale. So I scoop down and in and I replace my foot back to hip with the part. So I'm going to try the other side. Exhale, down and up. Inhale, down and in. Other side, exhale, down and up. Inhale, down and in. So while I'm doing this, and I'm not going to do lots and lots of reps, it's really just a test to make sure that my spine's not lifting off the mat. So um, if you've already found that this test is challenging for you, you might want to concentrate a little bit more on holding through this core. So making sure your back is in contact with the mat, that it's holding its connection. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Let's test ourselves out just a couple more times. And then I'm going to take my knees up to 90 degrees. So if you're not comfortable in this position, a lot of people that are tight in their hips find this difficult. Um, so just place your feet down and you can always do a variation of what we're going to do with your feet down. So it's really important you listen to your body, you adapt this class to suit your body. So let's start here. So I am going to go up. 45 degrees. So on the exhale, I'm going to go out. Inhale, come back in. Exhale, out. Inhale, back in. Exhale, out. Inhale, back in. Exhale. Inhale. I'm going to do one more each side. So again, just a little bit of a test and a warm up. How's your spine going? Is it holding? And then I'm going to do this. So I take one leg at a time, so it's exhale, right leg, left leg, then inhale, bend your right knee, left knee, exhale, right leg, left leg, 
inhale right knee left knee so let's keep going in this pattern so you'll notice as both legs extend there's quite a lot of load on your spine so the test is to make sure that it's your spine is holding so it's not moving off your mat uh, as soon as it's moved off the mat no it's not the structure of your spine it is your core releasing so it may be that your your core isn't quite strong enough yet to hold both legs out so if that's you you may choose to modify by taking your feet higher so taking your feet higher to the ceiling so towards your center of gravity takes the load off the spine so feel free to do that and let's lead with our left leg for balance inhale our brain loves it <laughs> when we um, mix it up a little bit <laughs> it wakes it up anyway so exhale out inhale in exhale out so maybe you're already doing a modified version of this with your feet down keep going <laughs> I'm just going to do one more in this position. Exhale. One for, one for luck. Okay. And let's add on, shall we? <laughs> Seeing we're doing so well. So this one is going to involve a an, an double leg extension, but we're also going to add the upper body. So we're actually going to start in this counter position so you can already feel there's load on the core you have to work hard so think of forehead towards your thighs or your knees because if the head hangs back that's when we get the attention on the neck so we do want to protect the neck so how do we get yourself up in a tight little ball so we're going to take an exhale and open inhale we're going to curl up again exhale we open Inhale in. Exhale open. Inhale in. Exhale open. Inhale in. Let's do it four more times. Now I'm going to give you an option to do. This is only an option you choose if you can keep your back down. So for arches, go back to the option we just did. So exhale, I'm going to take my arms back this time. Mine aren't touching the floor because I, I do want to keep my spine on the ground. And then inhale in. Exhale out. Inhale in. Exhale out. Inhale in. Exhale out. Inhale. Good, just two more times. One for luck. Good. We've got lots of lucky reps today, don't we? All right, so let's place our feet down. So we're going to come into a bridge. Today we're going to add a little bit of upper body so it is optional you can start with the basic option um, which I will give you so what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach the exercises separately and then you can choose to combine them so let's for fun start with the upper body so this is a deceptive exercise on the surface it seems like it's quite easy um, so it uses your arms which are a small muscle group so they're low energy muscles uh, but what we're trying to do is do this movement without lifting your spine. So we're going to take an inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, we take them back. Only as far as you can, keeping your spine down. Inhale. Exhale. So what does the spine look like when it can't hold? It looks like this. So this is quite a common one in this exercise. And it's because a lot of us don't spend enough time stretching our upper body. So... Um, <laughs> 
we do tend to get quite tight in the lat muscles. So the lat muscles are these ones through here. So they're a very big middle back muscle. And you know they're tight if you have difficulty getting your hands on your head without arching your back. So when you arch your back, that's, that's you compensating by, by using lower back muscles as opposed to stretching the lats. So it's a combination of flexibility and core stability. So your core is the thing that works hard to keep the back down. So that's what stops your lower back kicking in to compensate. So I'm going to do one more just to make sure you're doing that. <laughs> And then I take my hands by side with my palms up. So I still want to set that balance right to the upper body. And now I'm going to lift the hips up and down a few times. So I'm bracing the belly. I'm making sure my core is holding. And then I exhale, lift up. Then I inhale, I lower down. So let's do this a few times. Exhale, up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up. Inhale, lower. So I can tell I am trying to take work out of my legs because I keep pushing myself back on my mat. So if you're doing this and you feel yourself sliding backwards, what I recommend you do is put some pressure in your feet. So if you press into the mat with your feet, what this does, it will get your core firing as well, um, but it will also get your legs firing. So it stops you um, from pushing back and losing the work. So I'll do one more of these. Oh, holy glory, my hips went for a bit of a wobble then, so it must mean that I'm not getting even glute activation. So these are nice things to check for. So hip alignment, balance, and now upper body work. So we're going to try and do this while keeping our core on. So remember, it's an option. So same breathing as before, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. If you're finding the coordination all too much, you could choose to do just the arms or just the hips or maybe you do one rep of the arms and then one rep of the hips. Just mix it up, why not? Just a couple more. last one. Good. And hug the knees in. All right. So now we're going to start. So just um, a couple more on our back today. So this is a little bit of a bleak work. And we're going to work quite rhythmically today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the legs and then we're going to add the upper body. So the legs provides us with a nice stretch. You still, yes, need to use your core. So it means that the back is going to stay on the ground. So no arching, no cheating. All right, so let's hug the right knee to chest. So we're going to go three to one. So it goes like this. And hold it again. Good. So keep this rhythm going, three, two, one. While you do it, try to relax the shoulders down to the mat. So you try not to tense them up. Again. One more each side. Last one. So now I'm going to add my upper body. So I'm taking my hands behind the head, elbows are back, but relaxed, and I add a turn towards the bent knee. So like this. So try and 
try and think opposite arm fit towards the knee. Try to keep the elbows back so we're not using the neck. Again. Two more. One more. And relax. So similar thing, but this time <laughs> you got it. The legs are going to be straight. So again, we'll set up the rhythm with the scissor. Same roll back stays on the ground. So I'm actually going to use this and get a bit of a hamstring stretch at the same time. Why not, right? So you like this. Other side. So try and remember the bottom leg doesn't have to go too low. Okay, so we want to be able to keep the back down. I'm certainly not touching the floor because I actually want to keep a little load in my abdominals. One more each side. Last one. And I don't know if you've guessed the pattern. Yes, we are going to have the upper body. So the hands come back, elbows are relaxed. We're twisting towards the closest leg, like this. Tuck the chin in. So don't leave the head hanging back. We want to protect the neck, make sure there's not too much tension in it. And again. Good. One more each side. And again, and let it go. Good. All right, let's come on to our side, shall we? So what wonderful things will I come up with today on our side? Um, I get the impression sometimes when I roll into this position that people get a little bit worried sure it's going to be fine. I'm only going to start with my bottom leg bent, but I, I think you can tell by the position I've set up that yes, we are going to incorporate a little bit of hovering. So I'm going to give you a few options to help you out with your strength through this. And I'm only going to do a few reps at a time. So it does give you the opportunity to build up. So I'm drawing my waist away from my mat. And this is how I keep strong through my core. I check my hip bones and my shoulders are stacked and I am scooping the, bone, the belly in through the center of the body. So I'm going to take an exhale lift up and then inhale and lower down. Exhale lift up, inhale lower down. Exhale up, inhale lower down. Exhale up. Inhale, lower down. So I'm going to add on. Exhale, lift up. I'm going to lift my foot on the inhale. And then I'm going to do two of these. And lower down. Good. So exhale. I'm going to add a move. Inhale, lift my foot. Let's go. Exhale, lower. And then inhale, lower the whole body. We'll try that again. Exhale, up. Inhale, lift the foot. You ready? Lower the foot. Lower the body. Inhale. One more like this. Exhale. Inhale, lift. You ready? Lower the leg. Lower the body. So now <laughs> you can stay or you can come to your feet. So I'm only going to do a few reps. 
Uh, and this is just to give you a nice progression to work up. So maybe um, if it's the first time watching this video, maybe you're just going to stay with the most basic option today. Maybe you just do the leg movement today and that's quite okay. Um, but this is to give you somewhere to go to work up to. So are you ready? So exhale, I'm going to lift up. I'm going to take an inhale, I'm going to lift. Let's go. Lower the leg and lower down. Again, inhale up. You ready? Lower the leg, lower the body. Again, exhale, inhale. You ready? One more time. Had a little bit of a balance issue then. Lower and lower. Ooh, shake, shake, shake. Fun as always. Let's change side. So we'll start with the bent knee. And we'll start with just the lift up and down. So I'm drawing my waist up. I'm checking my hip bones and my shoulders are stacked. My torso is open and I have that nice connection through the center of the body. So remember the hip, the hip bones, the line, the scoop, and here we go. Exhale up, inhale lower. So just keep the most basic version, get used to the exercise. And I'd like to bring your attention when we do this to the palm that is on the mat. So what you're going to do is press into your hand and make sure it's even weight through the hand. So what that's going to do is protect your shoulder. Otherwise, what we do is we transfer the weight back into the elbow. We get very uncomfortable in the elbow, but it also puts a lot more load on the shoulder. It's all about distribution of weight. So we're going to add on. Are you ready? Exhale. Inhale. Let's go. Lower and lower. Again. Let's go. And again. Good. You might, found, you might have found that you've got a stronger side and a side that's not quite as strong. And probably you've noticed more so in the shoulders and the lower body, but that's okay. We're working with everything. Let's do it one more time. Oops, messed up the breathing. Better do it again. Inhale. Let's go. Lower, and lower, that was better. Okay, I'm going to have a little bit of a shake, and I'm going to give you the more advanced option. Feel free to repeat what you've just done, or maybe even a nice, easier variation of that. But let's take the challenge if you choose to today. So we exhale, we lift. Inhale, I lift the foot. Let's go. Inhale. Exhale, and again. Good, two more to go. Not that I'm counting them down. And last time. And shake. Oh. Fun, hey? All right, I'm coming onto my belly. Ooh. So it's time to work the back of the body. 
Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with my fingertips at my temples. I'm just going to relax my legs so I don't want my feet turning. I want my legs centered and my pelvis pressing down. So a lot of the time when we're on the belly, we are using the glutes as our anchor here. So not just the core this time. Glutes are going to play a special role in keeping our pelvis centered and protecting the lower back. So just be mindful of the hips and also be mindful of not tensing up through the neck. So we do need to think of drawing the shoulder blade. So imagine you've got pockets uh, right at the back of your pants and you're sliding your shoulder blades towards your pockets. So I'm going to start with a little opposite side work. So you can choose, but I'm going to start with my right side. So I'm going to move on my inhale. I'm going to inhale, I'm going to lift up through the right part of my chest. I'm keeping my pelvis on the mat. And then exhale, lower, and I go to the other side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So keep your hips grounded. I cannot emphasize that enough. Otherwise, what happens is you get this nice rolling sensation, but you don't really get anywhere. So hopefully that's not you. I'm sure you're having fun doing that. <laughs> but when it comes to balancing the strength of your body, uh, it's not going to have a very positive effect. So let's do one more each side. And then I'm going to add the opposite leg. So really, I'm testing your coordination. But while I'm at it, I'm also, we're also incorporating some glute work. So we're going to inhale, opposite leg lifts. Let's see how your coordination is. And then the other side. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. So we're going to throw in something I don't believe we've done yet. Uh, so we're going to incorporate a little bit of swimming. So please don't treat it like you are in the pool and you're getting lots of rotations. The aim of the Pilates swim, um, and this is more a focus on the upper body. We'll call it the Pilates freestyle, will we? Uh, the aim is to keep the lower body centered and work on the mobility of your shoulders. If your shoulders lack mobility, um, which is probably a lot of us during COVID, I'm sure we've spent a lot more time on our screens. Uh, so if you lack mobility, what tends to happen is you use that lower body. So you start to lift up the mat in order to get the movement in the arms. We don't want that. We just want to stay true to our range and just work the range you can work just using the upper body. So you might find that your range is restricted, especially as you come over the top. You may not be able to get this circular movement over, but just do what you can to, to get that movement, to get that rotation happening again. So I'll start with my right side. So I'm going to inhale, I'm going to slide up. So I do lift my chest, and then exhale, the arm comes up and over. Other side, inhale, I slide back. Exhale, I come up and over. Inhale, slide back. Exhale, up and over. Inhale, slide. Exhale, still feeling my pelvis grounded on the mat. So I'm not turning my hips at all. I'm sure you would if you were in the pool. But maybe you do that more so in the pool because you lack shoulder flexibility. So maybe it's the shoulder flexibility that would, that would help your stroke. I know absolutely nothing about swimming, so I don't, I don't know if that's good advice or not. Just a couple more. Now feel free to stay with this single arm version, but I'm going to try a few double arm versions. So this will look like butterfly, well my version of the butterfly. So inhale, I'm going to slide both hands back, 
Okay, so I'm going to come up and over. So you'll feel that, yes, there is some lower back work happening here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. I have to take a little detour off my mat each time. Good. Almost there. Couple more. And last one. Oh, you thank you, Frankie. Hands by side, palms can be up, and we're going to take our left ear to the mat and take some deep breaths. And again. One more. Good. From here, hands under shoulders. I'm going to push up onto my hands and knees. Bring my knees closer and around through the spine. So I'm taking some deep breaths here. Relax the neck and shoulders. And then come to neutral. Big toes together. Hands come forward and I'm going to sit back to my mat. And just make sure this posture is as easy as you can make it. So the knees can be wider, narrower, and sit on the heels. If your knees allow you, you can actually bring your hands closer and support the head if you need to. So just adapt the posture so that you're getting a little release for your body. Because really that's what we want. And let it go. Good work. All right. So... We've got one more. We're going to finish with a little bit of hover work today. So um, the Pilates hover, as we have done it before, I believe, uh, we set it up quite differently. And I do encourage you, uh, if you do this movement, because um, it's quite a popular movement when it comes to core work, I encourage you to set it up like this. So the way we're going to set it up um, ensures that we're going to get more core activation and we're not actually dumping into our lower back. If we train ourselves to dump into our lower back through this, uh, it's, it's quite easy to get into bad habits and to, and to not get the core work as effectively as we could do. So from here, I might take a little walk forward so I've got more mat behind me. And from here on our hands and knees, I'm going to take my elbows to the floor. Now, I don't want to stay in this position because otherwise I'm I'm really not going to get a challenge in my core muscles. So I'm going to walk my knees back. And I'm going to walk them back so that my hips have to come a bit lower. And they're in line with my shoulders. So hopefully what you're seeing through my spine is a really flat level position. Because this uh, is a position that ensures that our core is up. So a couple of things that will help you in this movement. One is to push up out of the arms. So if we collapse down, uh, our shoulders are going to burn out and that's when we're more inclined to, to drop the hips and use the lower back. So we're pushing away from the mat. I also encourage you to lift your head up so that your neck is in line with the rest of the spine because the head drops, same thing, the head is heavy, lots of load on the shoulders and then what tends to happen is the gravity pulls the rest of the body down as well. So you're lifting up, you're pushing up and we're going to just hold and breathe. And then I'm going to give you the option to tuck your toes and see if you can lift your knees up. You don't have to, you can stay on knees. But otherwise we're here, just for a few breaths. Make sure your butt's in line with shoulders. Uh, so we definitely don't want it lower because this strains the lower back. But if it's in the air, <laughs> it's not unsafe but you're not going to get much work out. <laughs> so just remember that. It's better to choose an option where you have got that nice spine position, even if that means you're on your knees. So I'm going to make you do two more breaths. Then we'll take a little breather. That is that. Maybe bring the weight a little forward to your fingertips. And relax. So just have a little shake because we're going to play with this a few times. Whew. Okay, so let's reset. So I'm just, I'm training you to reset this. Hands on the shoulders, elbows coming down, the knees 
walk back and we find our hover. I'm going to tap my toes and this time I'm going to add some little lift. My right knee up, follow my left. And then I'm going to take my right knee down on the inhale, follow the left. So exhale up, up, down, and down. And keep the head up. And one more this side. There's a little hit there. <laughs> Did you get it? And you know, I really like to bounce it out, get those neurons firing from the brain. So, of course, we're going to leave the left leg. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. One for luck. It's lucky rep day, what can I say? And release. Shake it off. How would you like one more variation? I can feel the excitement through the screen. So let's do it, will we? So this time we're not going to worry so much about the lower body. So hopefully you've managed to set up. <laughs> you can choose your knees or your feet this time. So what we're going to do is exhale, tip the body forward so it's a very slight move towards the fingertips, then inhale back. Exhale forward. Inhale back. Now hopefully your hips haven't dropped. Because if they do, hello lower back, so we don't get the way. So if you're here, movement won't be as great. But you can still kind of do it. Let's do it four more times. No, I'm not speeding up because it's hard. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. And let it go. Ooh, okay. Um, I'm going to swing my feet around and I'm just going to do a few quick Pilates rolls. It's really just to loosen off through the spine. If you don't want to do the roll, just do a few of these. So you're rocking back and up. Do a little cat cow from this seated posture. Otherwise, take hold of your shins, tuck your chin. And let's roll back and up a few times. So exhale back, inhale up. Exhale back, inhale up. This is my absolute favorite Pilates exercise. If we could do a full class of Pilates rolling, I would probably do it. <laughs> One more, but apparently not today. Never mind. <laughs> Next time. All right, so let's make our way back up to standing. So I'm going to set my feet off my mat. I'm going to set them so they're shoulder width. And I bring my weight into my feet. I'm going to release my left hand, follow by right, and then I'm going to push up. So I'm coming onto my mat, and I'm going to finish with our quick posture alignment. So hopefully you're pros at this by now, but it is good um, just to take time to do this. Um, I know I do see people in my classes quite a lot in live classes uh, where they get a bit frustrated going through this process because they're like, I've heard this before. Um, but it's amazing. It is an exercise in awareness. And it's, um, it's amazing how mindless we are with our body. Our body is so used to doing things automatically and us not thinking about it. So when you take the time to really pay attention um, it's amazing the things you, you find out about your body and your posture. So try to approach this process from a place of, of absolute curiosity and fascination. So be amazed at what your body can do and, and where it's at and see if you, you can help it because it does, it really supports you through this world. So we start with the feet. We check their hip width apart and we feel through the feet and the ankles and we find our center. We make sure we're not favoring one side, we're not rolling on the ankles, we're really setting a firm base for ourselves. 
And then we do this with the legs as well by softening the knees. So legs, they carry us through this world. We want them strong, we want them grounded. See if you can feel that sensation in them. Now tune to your pelvis and your spine. So we want hips neutral, knees, bent knees may have helped that, but still give it a little attention. Make sure the hips aren't sitting back or forward. These are the vertebrae through the base of the spine are stacked. Right on. Again, favoring any particular direction. And from here, we're going to switch on the deeper core. So we tune to our hip bones. We visualize the line going from one hip bone to the other. And we're going to scoop the belly in behind the line without moving our spine. So we've got this lateral gap. We want to hold our posture nice and tall. We don't want to make ourselves shorter. <laughs> so don't move your spine when the belly draws in. And we want to check that we're breathing because we need to be able to hold these muscles and breathe. Um, and hopefully if you've been in practicing Pilates throughout these weeks, you're getting to a point where these muscles, they kind of just switch on and you might catch yourself every now and then going, oh, hey, I'm actually getting this. <laughs> That's what we want. We want them we want to just be holding ourselves and then going, hang on a second, they, they're working. These muscles are working. They're holding us. So just take a moment to appreciate that. And then take your arms by side, turn your palms in, and just check that the shoulder area is relaxed. We're not holding tension in the neck or the shoulders or the chest. We're opening our heart, and then we tune to neck and head. So we're bringing the vertebrae in line. There's no tension in the neck. Our head is centered and within that center of gravity. And now we can just feel through the whole body and just get a sense of this posture how it feels, doesn't have to be comfortable, a little bit of discomfort is okay, it's just got, it's just that reminder that there's something we're working on changing. We need discomfort to create change. Now let's bring the breath back, so take a deep breath in, exhale, and one more time, inhale, exhale. And we're revisiting the spinal roll. Remember, we're looking for flexibility, mobility, um, just to see if we're, we're maybe even just getting a general better quality of movement. Inhale, hinge forward, exhale. So maybe you're just better at connecting breath with movement. <sighs> Says me who's talking. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. So take those little wins. Any change is a good change. Inhale, hinge. Exhale, if you get a millimetre further, celebrate it. One more time. And then coming back up, just tuning to the body. area a little bit of your attention it's worth your time paying attention to your body I want to thank you so much uh, for joining me today and also throughout uh, these weeks online uh, this is our last online presentation for a little while uh, because next week we will be live and back the studio. Uh, so for those members of Geelong's Gym, I'm looking forward to, to seeing you after all these weeks. It'll be great to, to see you again face to face. Um, but for, for those of you who won't be joining us back in the studio, thank you for, for joining us for these sessions. I hope that you gained a lot out of them and you're now in a place where you've got a much better understanding of your body posture and you've been able to to really feel that shift in your strength bye for now